sometimes you just gotta be Chewbacca. <laughs> That's all. Star Wars is popping. Fuck football. You know they're just kids. They can't go for the yeah, title. Yeah. They ain't spent any money. They got the audacity. Charity. They can't go for the title. That's how I like it. I don't want any of you to say we're gonna go for the title. I just want me to say that we should go for the title. Oh god. Oh, these Tottenham fans are so delusional. It's unreal. I don't I mean, know, man. Like really. Uh, uh, Pochettino has come out and he said they can run for the league, but it's ha they haven't got enough legs. Craig and Jimmy Neutron are allowed to talk the title race talk because realistically they are in it. But we all know that this is a marathon. In May, they're not going to be in it. And that's basically a fact. This this whole title talk is stupid, fam. Yeah, they're doing well. I'm rating their whole their whole operation. Ericsson coming off the bench. They've got options. A bit like that cocoa I like to drink. But if I'm being totally honest with you, they man ain't winning the league. Let's go for the title. Shoot for the moon. If you miss, you're amongst the stars. And at the moment, we've got a bunch of young stars playing in our team. And I don't know if you're saying it for Bantz. Or if you're saying it because you it's get... Banner, it's banner, it's banner, it has to be. Banner. He's just saying it so he can make sure he gets included in the edit. Concentrate on fourth. Yeah, no, no, no. This isn't Usain Bolt 100 metres. This is Mo Farah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're not Mo Farah. You're not <laughs> even Usain Bolt. I'll put £50 on with Mitch that Spurs are not in the title race by the beginning of March. Obviously, I still want top four, like, minimum, like as in that's our aim for the yeah. season. I'd... But when you're sitting in third place, looking up three points off first place or whatever it is, like a small margin, mm -hmm. naturally you're going to think, yeah, we might actually have a shot at this. What did they get for Christmas? Hope. But... <laughs> Spurs have got a history of needing to be ripped and in all honesty, even a few decent performances, they're not going to convince me that they're ready for a title challenge. They're not, are they? Not Come on, man. Like Harry have Kane. a word with yourself. Gas. That's all it is. Gas. Tottenham gas. Mitch gas. Jimmy Neutron gas. Football gas. Premiership table gas. Gas, Pochettino gas, Kane gas, 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 gas. They might blow up with all that gas. Did any no. of the teams above us beat no. us? Leicester haven't beat us. No, Arsenal didn't beat us. We batted Man City. So I genuinely think our team feel like they can beat anyone. Do you know what? I can honestly say Ross will get tossed off before Spurs win the league. Spurs might win the league before Spurs win the league. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Harry Kane... He's back in people's good books and mm. he's he's been the goal he scored against Southampton. I was really impressed. Harry with Kane is a fucking touch. baller, but Tottenham are not. Come on, I mean, look, the way the league's going, everyone's challenging for the title. Titles and Tottenham don't go in the same sentence. Exactly! They have never been in the same sentence. There is no sentence that you will find. Type it in in Google. Tottenham title. I guarantee you nothing comes up. Jamie Carragher tweeted, he never thought he'd say this, but I think Spurs can win the league. Well, you know what, Jamie Carragher? I never thought I'd say this. You might be a good... Nah, take it back. Yeah, You're a shit yeah, pundit. Yeah, 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 You're shit. Go. Gary Neville's gone and you're still shit. So no one cares about your opinion. Well, how did Jamie Carragher tweet about a title race? Yeah, and you ain't ever been in no title race, cuz. You dickhead. Waste, man. I think um, these Spears, these Spears boys, they can win the fucking league this year. Yeah, he would swear as well on TV. Cool. Tottenham are in a title race because it's December. If you're looking at it in terms of, I don't know, literal terms, yeah. they are in the title race yeah. right now. And technically, let, but you have to give it more time. You can't be calling title races. I mean, how many But then again, I call it. <laughs> I'm just going to. Fuck being a football fan. I think we all knew that Arsenal were going to beat Bournemouth. Yeah, cool. Regardless of the Southampton results. So this. So it was, I knew when they got battered and they got battered by Southampton 4 0, that they were going to be top of the league because Leicester and Man City's game yeah. was still in hand. Yeah. We knew that was going to happen. No, I'm not really on all that, like, but we're top of the league talk. I can't lie to you, I'm pissed off. Yeah, but the thing about it is we're top of the league. Top of the league. Top of the league. Listen, Meza was a masterclass tonight, mate. Absolutely unreal. The guy could have had about eight assists. He's on another planet. Any other oh, footballer at the club. Can I assist you? As Arsenal should know, being top in December doesn't mean anything. I recall a few seasons ago where you were top four, probably the longest that anyone's been top four, yep. and you barely made it into top four. How about that? <laughs> All the big games in the in the going into the you know the long end mile of the season are away from home, yeah. where you look like shaky warriors. That's what you look look like the shaky warriors. That's what you look like away from home. That performance against Southampton was a fucking right. disgrace. When I'm telling man we can't win in the new camp. And we're fucking struggling against Southampton, fam. Lewis Figo costs more than a new stadium. Nah. <laughs>
Mad. It, it, we got a Santa Claus. Hello, yeah. Mazel, what? A Santa Claus in our team, what? giving out gifts, and these sport little brats don't even want to take ring, the gifts. Ring. May I assist you? It's Mazel. <laughs> Arsenal are top of the league. I'm rating that. But Leon, big mouth night, has already said, yeah, us man are going to bottle it still. It ain't the fact that we lost the game, cuz. Like, I've seen Arsenal get spun before. But it's the fact that you know now, man can't win the league, cuz. We ain't got the bottle. We ain't got the bottle. BJ's. I'm not talking about a blowjob. Bottle jobs. You got to come to the synagogue. You know what happened at the synagogue last season. I ain't got to remind you. I can pull out the Harry Kane pictures if you want. I can bring out the DVD because I made a DVD myself about it. But I'm not going to do it. Just know that you got to come to synagogue, a.k.a. White Hart Lane. Can we carry that on without Mesut? Can you carry it? Mm. Because, uh, honestly, they look ah, lost without the guy. He's like the conductor ah, with a philharmonic orchestra ah, behind him. Yeah. All, all, in, all in time and all, all sounding um, lovely. Mesut is Chewbacca, fam. <laughs> I just <laughs> deeped it. No, Every no. year is you lot's year. Every year, until it's not. Until it's near the end of that year. And then it's the next year. And the year after, that's you lot's name. You lot's middle names should be next year. Well, so you can't call Spurs bottle jobs when you bottled. We bottled the opportunity to go top four and then went top four. And now we've pushed on and we are fully top four. Actually, we're third at the moment. You guys have bottled the chance to go top and then you've gone top relying on results now. Real talk, we ain't gonna win the league. We ain't. And we got Meza Ozil. This man can find Ross Agyal, he could find my dad, he could find Ross, I don't, he could find so much things. He could find Madeline McCann. It's like, it's December, innit? Mm. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like getting a buff girl with mm. a big back mm. into your room mm. and then you walk into the room and you bust. Mm. You haven't done anything yet. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not early. over. Like at least you know yeah, when you get yeah. into the nitty gritty and then it's mm, over. Mm, you're like, yeah, mm. put in some work. Bayern have been battered in Germany. Bayern have been battered. City have been battered already. Yeah, been battered by We've been battered now, but we're still there or thereabouts. If the we league, get a draw bro. tomorrow, yeah. Leicester and Man City, I think we're in business. Probably top of the league. At the end of the day, if you lose four 0 to Southampton, but then you're top of the league, yeah. I'll take that, yeah. mate. Yeah. I'll lose to Everton six one and be top of the league and not give a shit. Yeah. Which one had the worst Christmas? All the full fellas. Which one had the worst? <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Well, what am I gonna say? You're gonna say. I guarantee you're not gonna say it now because I'm about to say it. I got. But you thought you was gonna say the person that had the worst Christmas at the full fellas cast was Vooj because he didn't eat. <laughs> poet, poet got affection for Christmas. Just, just a bit. Just like a duvet. Yeah. Poet got a duvet or like just a blanket. Like he can just hug. Yeah, one of them heat or ones you plug <laughs> in. <laughs> Mitch. Yeah, and a bra. Scribs got nothing. How was your Christmas, Scribs? I didn't get any presents. I don't ever get presents. I have a Nigerian dad, so what's I don't think I've ever, I can't remember the last time I got any presents. Uh, what was you gonna say then? I don't know, man. You had the worst Christmas at the class. I think Scribs, man. I think it's Scribs, man. He just looks like a tramp. Scribs yeah. got just a, just like a cup of water. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just had a cup of water and carried on with life. Oh, Scribs, man, got you a cup of water. And he's just like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Janet. Probably went to, as I said before, probably went to North Middlesex. Got a bunch of clothes from the Lost and Found and gave mm -hmm. it to his cousins. I thought he was going to say he couldn't reach like the dinner table or something. Scribs, I got spare food over left over if you want to come round, man. I got some clothes. I gave some clothes away to the charity shop as well, man. They're nice and fitted. I could give those out for Christmas. You can't give them to Scribs then. Uh, Ross. Rampant rabbit. <laughs> Scribs. Skinnies. <laughs> Bolt. Eyebrows. <laughs> First one that comes to head, yeah? First thing that okay. comes to head. Bolt. Well, it's going to be the fucking obvious eyebrows, but you didn't get them, evidently. Alright, Scribs. Boot cut jeans. Uh, like, Leon Knight. Know. Leon Knight. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Poet. Clippers. He should have got Clippers. Really. He has But he should have got Clippers. Alright, Vooj. What did Vooj get? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> evidently. Ah, uh, what did Snips? Yeah. All right, this isn't my joke, but Ross got the typical white boy present, which is the Lynx Africa box set. Bruv, he got the shower gel. He got the gel for his hair. He literally looks like a Serbian skeleton. The 12 days of Christmas, we just laying down on the sofa and he looked malnourished. And I'm worried about Leon, like, he was backing off his top in, the, in that JD Christmas list, like, and he's fucking fat. <laughs> he looks like Rick Ross. And they love it as well. I mean, I don't know how fond they are of Africa himself, but they're definitely fond of the box set. You know, it could be Snips. 
I mean, I know he's not here today, but... He like, doesn't even look like he's celebrating Christmas. That's what I'm saying. He, look, like he looks like Santa Claus. Exactly. So I'm just saying he was giving that presence to He everybody. was probably around here before Santa Claus. In my day, Santa Claus wasn't even around. He was just a young chipper. <laughs>